Hello everybody, welcome to ZGT, my name is Aurelius, and today we're hopping into the city of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, and first and foremost, I so apologize for not getting a video out yesterday, uh, I just got a bunch of stuff going on, uh, my fiance's mom is here visiting for a couple of weeks, and had a graduation and everything, and I really wanted to get this video out to you guys yesterday but just time and everything going on in in my real world life um yeah you just couldn't get to it but today we're gonna go ahead and kick it off with a go best multi draw been doing some summon board training i do believe i have go biz maxed out You know, for the summon board, and I guess I'll take those. Been in draw tickets over here on Kefka's trying to get his 15 and 35 CP weapon. Uh, haven't had any luck with that, getting a bunch of 4 star gear, you know, but nothing 5 star. Um, and I was kind of hoping a new gem cell would pop up, you know, once the old one and they just because those just weren't very good deals they really weren't you know and oh excuse the burp and yeah it's um i do want to do way more multi draws for gobez and try to get his weapons but i'll go ahead and enhance what i gotta do believe those two weapons will MLB those 15 CP weapons for those characters and we'll try to go do his EX mission. I'll see you guys then Okay, so here we are at the EX mission uh, <laughs> uh, Yeah, I recorded it the first time and Again my recording app did not Save the video for whatever reason. I'm really gonna start looking into a different recording app. So I'll go ahead and just do this EX mission again. Um, you know, uh, showed off some artifact skills for Golbez. I did not mean to hold down on him. You know, um,. Here we go. This Lunarian Descent. You know, uh, 2% at 1 star is in 5%. Uh, max Brave and Attack at 2 star. While Shadow Dragon is active. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. And Shadow Gra Dragon already asked to that stuff. So it's just a bigger bonus. You know, for using Golbez's moves, you know, increased max brave and everything. Um, you guys can see from the missions up there. I've already cleared it, completed it. Uh, max score was 100k. Let me show off my score real quick. And I ended up with 161k with this party right here. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, do it again. Show you guys how I did it. You know, um, expecting the same results. I brought a Golbez as support. Just because I love using Bards. He's just such a great utility character. He goes well with almost any party combination that you can possibly think of. You know, um, outside of magic. <laughs> if you're looking for a full magic party, then he's not the guy to go for. Go ahead and glare hand here. And this trying should kill everybody. You know, just this simple mastery boost is so good. So good. It just increases the max base for the entire party. I finally got that up to six star. So, this is a full upgrade, or a full max brave, uh, max potential, entire party's hitting as hard as they possibly can with Bart's in the party. 
So we'll go ahead and try this dude here. He wasn't much of an issue. Um, no, I just want to save my trine for the big buff at the end. Go ahead and do another right hand here. A uh, quick note on Golbez's Shadow Dragon. It once it hits level three, um, it it doesn't refresh anymore. So you cannot refresh that turn count. As you see, I got three turns left with it. Um, yeah, but once that runs out, you'll have to uh, get it back up to level three. Which he's fully capable of doing. His uh, move counts at six apiece, you know, allows him to go through two full cycles of um, of Shadow Dragon. But if you have his EX twin meter and you use that, um, it automatically puts Shadow Dragon at at um, Shadow Dragon three level three. So he'd be really great as support and Shadow Drag or the Twin Meteor is also a a uh, group attack, which I didn't realize until you know I was sitting there editing the for the intro, you know, I was getting footage for Go Best for that intro, which I hope you all did enjoy. By the way, um, so watch this right away. No, as soon as this goes up, may not be any music to it. It's just because of my editing app. All the music on there, I recently found out, was not royalty free, so I've been avoiding using those, uh, the music that that offers. You know, and it's just much easier to get this video uploaded and processed and then add music to it later on than, um,. Than actually uh, doing it myself, you know, as I'm doing the editing process. Now I'm not gonna pop the summon until you know I kill this dude for the first time and he resurrects. And Robes is about out of his moves. That's about what I did the last time, and it worked pretty well for me. So right here, he's gonna attack. Oh, I'll go ahead and try him. Then we'll save this last time for when his brave gets ridiculously out of hand. You know, because I don't have Golbez's 35 CP, I like using Claire Hand to build up the Shadow Dragon. That way the Rising Dragon is, or Rising Wave does as much damage as possible. So, go ahead, tap out this last Claire Hand right here. Hopefully get the kill. Uh, go ahead and Meteor. I just like using Meteor before I do the Havoc Wing. Just because it gets his Brave up pretty high and more potential for Havoc Wing to hit over Max Brave. Go ahead. HP attack. He still has a bit of health. I was doing this a bit faster the first time around. <laughs> you know, I think the first time. Are you serious? He's still standing after all of that? Come on. Yeah, I think the first time I did this, it was right at 40, 41 turns. Something like that. Go ahead and rising wave here. And you know, that knocked off a pretty good chunk of his max spread. For lack of judgment, to be T-Bus refresh. I just really hate that angelic uh, move, just simply because it removes all debuffs. Now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and tap out on my gold bears before I swap them out with my backup gold bears and good time to Meteor. I'm going to go ahead and double hand right here to get Bart's max brave back up. Is that another HP attack? No, it was just a 
group attack. Um, left me in a pretty curious situation. I'll just go ahead and brave attack there and get this swapped out. Pop the summon. We want Kefka hitting as hard as he possibly can. No, we're showing off the power of of Gobez. I mean, it's 69,000 HP damage right there <laughs> with the twin meter. Like, I know there's other characters that get pretty high, such as Quistus, Tifa, um, Raijin with support. You know, as I showed off in 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 an earlier video, but Gobez just constantly hitting around 40k you know on his own on his own that's without any kind of brave support or anything like that it was just absolutely insane you know he is definitely one of the most powerful characters in game to date you know um one of my uh <laughs> uh support buddies had a uh, rip Kuja, May 2019 to June 2019. <laughs> That's how ridiculously powerful Golbez is. He outclasses Kuja, which is not an easy task to do. At all. So you see he scored a little bit lower there. But, you know, I just wanted to show off the EX wasn't most difficult thing in the world to do um i was originally planning on doing this with seven in the party you know i went ahead and maxed out her crystal strength just because i had a crap ton of red high crystal shards that i'm not really using on anybody and there's nobody i could think of that uses red that's going to be coming out in the future except for maybe red 13 which somebody's claiming is out in japan but we're we've yet to see that we still know there's plenty of characters missing from multiple series so hopefully by the time red 13 does come out and if he is red crystal shards i mean why wouldn't he be <laughs> let's just keep the red thing going you know what i'm saying um yeah, we'll go ahead and worry about that then. But looking towards the future, we do still have Lena to look forward to. Um, where's June's schedule? So while we are looking ahead, let's take a look at uh, what's still to come in the month of June. Um, I do believe today is the 9th, so Monday, Tuesday-ish, we should have this Sun River Festival going, which every time they have a festival, there's some pretty good rewards to be gotten and everything. Um, Radiant Artifacts, as you can see down there by the picture, they will be 5-star. What characters that will entail? No idea. But we'll find out when they do come, and it'll be a good chance to... Uh, Work on some artifact skills for some characters you might want to be boosting up or just straight up lacking. You know, then with uh, Lena coming out on the 17th. You know, um, yeah, that's it for the month of June. It's a pretty big month, but not a whole lot of going on is in terms of events. And I'm pretty sure, you know, the devs have some secret stuff that they like popping up on us as they always do but i mean that's all we have to look forward to june just uh lena coming out on the 17th and the spring festival starting next week that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video if you liked it go ahead and hit that like button and, and uh to stay up to date with content going up on the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button alongside that notification bell you know, that way you get notified when when new stuff goes up. Um, you go ahead and follow me on Discord, Facebook, and Twitch. Details will be down there in the description. 
uh, when it comes to Twitch, going live at 1 p.m. every weekday. Currently playing Dark Souls 3 um, on Friday. I was a little late, but that was mainly because I was trying to do a live stream of this, and I quite haven't figured out how to do it from a mobile device. Uh, so, yeah, I'm still an amateur. I'm still learning. You know, hopefully I'll get that figured out sometime in the future, and we could do some... Uh, I don't know, Dissidia, Opera, Omnia, live streams, some Last Day on Earth, live streams, some Evolution 2, Battle for Utopia, live streams, you know, as well as Fairy Survivor, which that'd be a really cool game. If you guys haven't checked out that video I posted on Fairy Survivor, new survival game, pixel art, looks amazing, crazy zombie robots and bass to spit acid and zombie spiders jumping out of boxes it's just insane <laughs> to say the least but go ahead and check that video out you know um just something new especially for all you diehard uh, survival fans the one theory survivor pixel z seems very very promising but enough about that uh <laughs> hope you guys all have an awesome awesome day and i will see you all later